Uh-huh. Yup. Hey guys, it's Kraus. Welcome back everybody to the second part out of two on how to build a beach house. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like and if you do so, spank you <laughs> very, very, very much. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. So this is the progress after the first part and today, well, we will finish this. We're gonna make this a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. So let's maybe start in this corner. Let's finish our beautiful beach house and let's start doing some windows. So grab some birch trap doors and place one, two and three from that side and do the same from this side. One, two and three. Above that, we're gonna be having some strip oak wood, like a so. And above that, let's get some smooth quartz. And what goes for the window, I'm just going to be using the normal window penises, but you can use whatever you prefer. And this one is going to be a little bit different. So let's maybe start with the stripped oak just above here on the fifth block, counting from the ground. Above that, let's get some uh, smooth quartz. And here could either be like a door entrance to the garden or just a window going all the way to the ground. So I'm going to do a window. But uh, you can do you can do whatever you prefer. Like if you want to have a door here, do a door. And then I get some trap doors and place them from the sides like this and this shape is going to be mirrored to this side like this and then grab some smooth quartz and let's close off those gaps here on the inside so on the top elevation one and two on this side and one and two on that side below that some strip oak one and two and one and two from this side then we have closed off our rooms next up is the front entrance which is going to be pretty much mirrored as the back exit over here so let's um, let's get some stripped oak and let's place counting with this one one two three four and five in height one two three four and five then from the side let's do one and two and one in here just to give it a little bit of different texture using the normal window pieces let's place one two three and four on that and then on this side let's maybe use the white stained one let's pretend that it's kind of like some type of sliding door i don't know you decide okay above that let's use some smooth quartz and here we could either do a different shape or do the same shape as we have on the back we could even maybe tweak this a little bit uh, we might get rid of the lanterns and do this shape instead. Let's get rid of this border like this and let's maybe just get some uh, slabs in there. That does kind of look nice because it does reveal more of the wood. And bam! I like that. And what goes for the garage is going to be quite simple. Let's get some of the oak and rise it up by one, two, three and four in total. Above that, some smooth quartz. Then get some of the oak and let's get a little garage door uh, going over here. We could use a uh, trap doors as well for this, but I'm just going to use the oaks. Place them from side to side like that. And then on the third elevation, place one from this side and one from that side and leave a little gap for a window. So let's get some window going over here. Not needed, but it does give it some, some character to the whole thing. And then one more layer above that. And that is five in total from side to side. Above that, some smooth quartz placed like a so. What goes for the garage window? Let's get some oak and let's place this in the gap on the top layer, uh, which is the fifth one, counting from the ground. And then, you pretty much know the drill. Get some trap doors from the sides, but I'm still gonna show you this because I do kinda like you, right? And then in the gap over here, let's get some normal window penises in like that. And we've pretty much closed off the whole house. Let's not touch this window. Uh, we will very, very soon, but not yet. And then the back door to the garden over here. Let's maybe just do some quartz like this. Skitty, hairy lady. And then, you know what, let's maybe do do it like that. Just to be a little bit different. It doesn't have to be any uh, any any wood on the back. Let's get some uh, white stained glass and let's just put it in like this. This might be a sliding door, right? And that is pretty much the whole house uh, closed off besides this window. So from above, you are having this shape now. It is a debatable shape, but it's a shape. <laughs> Let's grab the birch slabs and let's get an interior ceiling put in. We're gonna go from this corner and take this all the way across to that wall, which pretty much means that it should be coming with the same line as the as the little rooms we've got going. And we're gonna pretty much cover all the gaps over here. Let's not touch this over here at all. So it's just gonna be the gap over here, the gap over here, and the gap over here. And uh, yeah, let's get going. You should have ended up with this shape. Now I'm gonna jump on the inside. I'm gonna add a little simple staircase, nothing spectacular. So let's get some smooth quartz stairs and let's place them just here on the on the back door. Let's do one, two, three, four, 
5 and 6. It kind of meets up nicely with the birch, uh, birch ceiling. We could go like this. We could have uh, one more staircase and have a double floor on the upstairs. However, we're going to lose a little bit on the headspace. So let's just keep it as it is. And let's add one more layer of those. It's going to be a double staircase. And just to be the cool kids on the block, let's grab some smooth core slabs. And let's maybe do a shape out of this. Like this like that and the last one let's take that all the way across to this side for now how do we look yeah it's it's debatable but it will have to suffice now let's make some roofs happen so grab your birch stairs and i'm gonna start i think in this corner over here so on the top block which is the sixth one counting from the ground let's place a birch stair like this and take it out by one and let's continue this shape all the way to the corner here and then we turn so it pretty much goes just above the front entrance like this and take this shape all the way to here and then stop behind the last stair here let's just place a full block of birch planks and stop it now let's go to this corner and pretty much do the same so on the top layer take it out by one continue this shape all the way to here and then turn and take it out by one and what goes for the garage uh, roof we can have a really flat one so get some birch slabs and um, Pretty much just take it out like this. I don't think we need to do anything more fancy. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it is a garage. It's going to be pretty much just going out one, uh, one block from the walls and all the way around. Which means we're even going to end up with a nice shape here in the back. Because otherwise, if it would be coming here, meh. No. Just one block spare to the window. So that is not too shabby. So from above, I think that is all the roof parts, isn't it? Pretty much, yes. So you should be having them just zoom in a little bit. You should be having something similar to this. Next up on the agenda is to raise up the corners of the roof. And we're going to be having three, which is exactly the same. So we're going to be going upside down a normal one. Upside down a normal one. We're going to do one over here. We're going to do one on this side, which looks exactly the same. And we're also going to do one on this side. So it goes from here, upside down, normal one, upside down. Here in the middle, do an upside down one. And then just a burst slab on the top. And let's do the same shape for the remaining two. And bam! So now we have three which is exactly the same. Well, not really because this is a little bit different because the birch uh, planks over here. Then I'm just going to fill up the, the whole roof over here uh, on the garage. And it's just going to be following the same uh, outer line as we have and just cover it up. I mean, nothing spectacular, just a really, really simple roof. You could add some trapdoors in here just for light uh, on the inside. But... Uh, Am I bothered? Are you guys bothered? I don't think so. And voila, we have a roof. Nothing EPKA, but it will have to do. Now let's get over here and let's start shaping the upstairs a little bit. So grab some smooth quartz and let's start in the middle. Place one just over here and bring that pillar all the way down. And let's do a double pillar like a so. And then let's uh, kind of follow the roof shape. So it's going to be like a little bit like a staircase. So the next one is going to be four. Next one is going to be three. Next one is going to be two. And the last one gonna be one so it looks something like this and let's make this wall a double one you might be but what is happening don't you guys worry all right so from the side you will have this shape all right on this side it's gonna be a little bit different let's place this and that over here and then we're just gonna place one over here on that upside down staircase one over here one and one so there's one two three and four just kind of hanging in there you might be that's cray cray it's a little bit cray cray but let me show you now we take the stairs and put them over here like this. Slabs on the top like that. Get the staircase from this side going as well. Like a so. And we're left with this shape, all right? Then we're just going to take some glass. Let me just grab one from the bottom. And we're going to put some glass just in this little gap over here. Might not be that the prettiest shape, but it definitely gives us some character. And bam. So from the front, it looks a little bit like that. So that window starts pretty much where the other one ends on, on, the, on the downstairs. I like this, I really do. It does give it some character and also kind of becomes a little bit modern. Let's do the same on the other side, just in case you don't really understand how it was made on that one. So start here in the middle with some smooth cords, bam, and take this pillar all the way down. So counting this from the first block, it's six blocks in height. And the window on this is coming on that side, just to mirror the shape from the other window, right? So, double wall, so this is six. Next one is gonna be five blocks. Next one is gonna be four blocks in height. Next one, three, two, and one. And let's get a double wall going. Like this. Also, you know what, let's get some stairs as well. And the easy peasy mode now is that those stairs are just going to be following 
from side to side, so it's really easy. Slabs on the top and once more from this side. So smooth course blocks, one and two, and then just on the upside down stairs, one, two, three, and four. So that is the main shape like this. And then, now and then, grab some smooth cords and go to this corner just here and take one block layer all the way across from this wall to the one behind us. Like this, go to this corner and go all the way to here and then just turn it. And this goes all the way to the far end like this. Let's do the same on this side. So it goes all the way from this wall turns on the main wall downstairs and goes all the way to the far end. And also what we could do now, we could either do a railing using full blocks for the staircase, like this for example, and having this uh, made, it looks kind of decent, right? Or we could just uh, keep that shape, but have a slab railing, which looks something like this. You could also use um, glass panes or whatever. Might even look quite, quite decent using them because that all obviously will let some uh, some light in, well not really light, but you can see through it. What do you guys think about that? You know what, 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 I do like it. You can maybe even have upside down court stairs instead. But nah, you know what, let's go for the slabs. Kinda, kinda, kinda resembles a beam going all the way through, supporting the staircase and whatnot. You can maybe even remove those and have slabs here instead. <laughs> oh yeah, babe, I like that, so let's keep it. Then what, what do we do next? Let's maybe move over here. Let's start over here and rise this up by one, two, three, four, and five. Next one is gonna be four. Next one is gonna be three, and then two. Like so, no one, because that is already placed, right? And let's have this as a double wall. The thing about this is gonna be pretty much looking the same as those windows, but it's gonna be huge. So let's go over here to this upside down stair and place one and two. One and two on the next one, one and two, and one and two. And this could be going up like this, but I guess we're just gonna Let's see, how does this gonna look from this angle? We could take it all the way up, but I think I'm just gonna close it off like this instead. Just so we see a little bit of the wide wall going up uh, here on the top. And then, and then what? No, and then, let's grab some glass panes and get them all the way here in the gap. This is gonna be a pain to place. Oh, behave! That is a huge window. It might look a little bit silly, but don't you guys worry, because we're gonna trap draw it up as well. So let's maybe start over here and let's place one, two, three, four, five, six, and I guess seven. So that is the first layer. And the next one is gonna be placed on this block going up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's about it. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do one more layer from this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and open them up like a so and then we're gonna turn and get them on this wall so one two perfect so now we have a shape so it doesn't look as fugly as it did uh, just just a moment ago the thing about this like in a real life scenario what kind of depends which uh, way the house is facing but a window like this of this magnitude would be kind of facing the sun a little bit so it would let quite a bit of light into the downstairs area and even the upstairs over here but I like it, so now we go up here on the railing, we have this little balcony and we can overlook, well, a grass, I guess, outside. I do want to keep it quite open on the upstairs, so let's get some smooth course and let's be mirror this wall and place it just on this white course line. So take it up by one, two, three, four, five, and six. Next one, you guessed it. Five, four, three, two, one. Houston, we have a lift off. Let's do the same on this uh, white course line. So it's going to be six, five, four, three, two, and one is already there. Then let's get some of the birch slabs and take this all the way across here to the other side. Like this, and let's do the same from this. Take this all the way across to the middle. We should maybe have a pillar over here somewhere about, but uh, let's not. And then I'm gonna do one more, but this one is gonna be coming from, from below. So this is gonna be going all the way across. Like this, you should be having a shape, which looks something similar to this. And you know what I'm gonna do now? Now I'm gonna be having a little bit of a boring time, because I'm gonna take the birch stairs, and I'm gonna pretty much just follow all the outlines. So going from this side, all the way to the other side, and so on and so on. And it's pretty much just following the shapes. Like this over here, kind of goes out here, and it turns, right? And so on and so on and so on so let's close this whole structure off i'm gonna see how it looks all right hopefully it's gonna look uh representable 
So this turns over here. The next one. Yeah, not a big fan of placing placing stairs. We could also have like sky windows and whatnot, but not on this house. Maybe on the next one, who knows. Ladies and gentlemen, it is, um, it's taking shape and I flippin' love it. It's a little bit dark on the upstairs and I guess we could use a few extra windows, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna put them in, but uh, there is a possibility to do so. Like for example, over here is a little bit of a wonky shape, mainly because I think there is where the front roof is. Yes, indeed. So I guess we could have a window, just a tiny one, uh, nothing spectacular, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Let's just close this off like a so. Get some birch in and bam, even Steven, even Steven. Also, we could have like upside down uh, birch stairs, so uh, we could have uh, smooth core stairs in the ceilings and whatnot. But let's not, let's not overdo it. I like this, and I guess we could have like sliding doors. And the thing about this is that, oh yeah, so if we delete that, that is womp womp womp. But we could have like uh, core stairs and then maybe just some, some glass panes representable as, I don't know, a door of some type and whatnot. Uh, this is just an idea, all right? Bam, bam, and bada beam. I like this. I like this quite a bit. So I guess uh, I, I'm really crap with furnishing, so I'm not even going to attempt, okay? Uh, attempt that. But the house is quite spacious. What I will do, however, I'm just going to plan out a little bit of yard work, just so we can get a little bit of an idea on how the outside uh, could look. But what goes for the house itself, man, I like it. Even this, like, this is, okay, this is kind of like the front. And... Uh, it is not too shabby. Let's uh, let's bushify this. Uh, yeah. So let's maybe let's maybe start over here. So let's see. We're gonna have a path which is tuned with coming along the house, right? So let's see. There's gonna be a path. Should we have a path going over here? Maybe just pointless. Let's just have there's a little like uh, green space and whatnot. So what I will do, and that is something I will do a little bit off camera because obviously this might be really really boring to to watch. Uh, but we're gonna dig out this whole area. So this over here is gonna be going all the way across here. And meeting up with that, and that's gonna be two in with, and this whole area here is gonna be dug out and replaced with some block of your liking. I'm gonna use the concrete powder, right? So let's do that to begin with. And voila, we do have an outdoor area. I've been thinking about one thing, not sure it's gonna work out. Let's get ourselves a campfire. Let's maybe go, um, hmm, let's maybe go for normal glass. You could use stained, but let's try with this. And um, let's uh, see here how one, two, three, one two and three so there is a little middle piece to the whole wall equation let's place this over here because we do know that this is a double wall right so what i could maybe do is delete this here we could have some uh, campfires don't don't ask questions okay hopefully we don't burn down the house and then having a little bit of a, a light gray would kind of be kind of be sleek right oh baby that is our winner, I guess. So we're gonna have some gray, uh, light gray stained glass. We're gonna have this two campfires, and this could just be going up over here. One, two, three. I don't really want to take it up too much. Uh, let's just keep it like three above this lot of rim. You might, but it's gonna burn down the house. Well, maybe, maybe it will. This is Minecraft, right? So why you have to be mad? It's only game. That is not bad. That is definitely not bad. We can have a little sitting area over here, but uh, let's get a trap door. Uh, can I do one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then take that roof all the way to about the wall end? I'm actually not sure how the camper mechanics work, and hopefully we don't burn down the house, because I don't have a fire protection on. How are we looking on the inside? Hey, you can even take this out. On this side, okay, it's not really gonna be the middle piece to the whole thing, but um, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, it's gonna be maybe a little bit silly having it over here. I mean, it could be a possibility on the other side. It's not that shabby, I guess, or it does not work well. Told you guys, you should have put in doors over here. How are we looking? That is totally a thing which you can keep. And I guess this roof, let's just maybe end it one before. The, the 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 end of the wall and let's get some fences birch fence and let's get that fence placed over here perfect we're also gonna do a little uh, sitting group i guess so let's start first things first let's grab a core slab and let's replace it a little table over here maybe like this and then starting from don't, don't ask any questions. This is, this is supposed to be a little couch. Maybe end it like that and take it out by one. 
Okay, it's very simple, but I will keep it that way. Nothing really spectacular now, is it? Maybe one more. Oh yes, oh yes, that looks really nice. Keep it as it is. So now we have a little outdoor area. We could make more of the of the pillars over here supporting the roof, but I don't think we need that. And then, let's see here. Let's grab some maybe Podzol. Let's also grab some uh, concrete powder, which is the green concrete powder. Uh, lime? No, green. Green should be fine. And let's do it like this. Let's do two layers of pod soles, and that's going to be going all the way and pretty much meeting up with that like that. So it's going to be going all the way across. And then, let's see here. If I would have concrete powder, one, two, three. Perfect. This is just going to be like a like a dug down into the grass. Kind of resembles like a mowed, uh, mowed lawn, if you know what I mean. If that is even what it's called. I think it is, right? Something like this. And uh, I kind of like it. Then let's get some leaves. Let's get some achacha leaves. And we're going to be having a double layer of achacha leaves. Uh, might be too much, but hey, you know what? You could never have too much bushes. And those are going to be going all the way across here. All the way here. And this pod salt is going to be going maybe all the way to about here. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Bushes for the win. And we can have some palm trees just around here somewhere. Okay, so this is nothing spectacular, but this is mainly so you guys get some ideas for your own builds. So let's just keep it. We're going to add some palm trees here later on. Let's just jump to the front over here. And let's maybe get some pods on. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe. So this would be pods on land. And more achacha, achacha leaves. However, those achacha leaves may be just one in height. Like this. And then we're gonna have a little driveway, or whatever you call it. Yeah, I guess a driveway, right? And uh, let's get that all the way, I guess, to just to the, to the end, right? In that width. This goes all the way across here. And then we will have a little path. What are those sounds? I have no idea. Let's maybe have a little path like this. Yeah, let's start digging that out to begin with. Like this, and then, and then, and then. Let's get some more pods on, but let's make this a little bit of a different shape. So we're gonna have uh, something like this, maybe, and we can totally squeeze in a palm tree here in the middle. So that is gonna be uh, cha cha leaves all the way around. Bear with me. Placing bushes with Corrales one on one. And obviously, this whole uh, thing over here will be material of choice, but for me, it is the, the concrete powder. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna dig that out and fill that with the, with the concrete powder. And also, having a little path. Let's just think about this. We're gonna have a little entrance to the house. It would be kind of ha cool having it over here because it kind of is on the door, but it doesn't really matter. So let's maybe just do uh, like a path which is two in width. Nope, it's killing me. And ladies and gentlemen, it's killing me. We need to have it centered on the door, otherwise uh, OCD is gonna eat me alive. So let's have the podzol maybe like this. There's gonna be three in width of grass in between. Still a lot of space for, uh, for a palm tree. And bam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is much, much better. Then, let's uh, see here. There's gonna be a path going here, right? Something like that. And I guess we could have a double pod sole. Please do bear with me, okay? This is a little bit of a, a little bit of freestyling. Yeah, you know what? This is not gonna be too shabby. Because then this would be turning right, and then this is gonna be meeting up with that path. <laughs> I think. I'm gonna pause the video a little, uh, for a second, right? So you guys can see how it looks. But this is mainly just getting some paths going. Like that from above. And then, no, and then, and then what we could do is taking the puzzle all the way to here, turning, and having that as a, like this. So this is kind of like a little garden for the peeps, like a door here would be a thing, I guess. But it's free in width, we have the Cheshire leaves, which are two in height, just for some extra privacy for the people, right? Those are just one. So we're gonna have a palm tree maybe somewhere about here, we're gonna have a palm tree maybe over here. Oh, it's gonna melt your face. Well, hopefully not. But I think it's gonna look really nice. Let's go over here and let's get some more of the pods on. Like, I am playing this on a flat world. I don't have any, any ocean, nor do I have any beach. 
so I will have to dig out like a temporary beach just so you guys can envision how it might look but um, yeah let's get some more achacha leaves all the way otherwise I guess sand here would be the way to go or just some other fence but in my scenario I only have grass which is kind of a little bit of a shame and how do we look now? From above, it looks something like this, everybody. So ladies and gentlemen, it is quite simple, but uh, the whole picture with the trees and bushes are gonna be very nice. And here in the back, let's pretty much do the same shape as we have on the other side. So this would be going out by two and going all the way here to the far end. Do we need more space over here? Nah, I doubt that this should be enough. Then a palm tree just here and maybe just one in behind. And that is mainly for the thumbnail, because I think that's going to look really nice. Like standing over here, for example, and then just having the palms just in distance. That's definitely going to be, be a win. But we don't have to do much more than this. Or do we? I guess some sand over here in this corner, maybe some palm trees in the back over here. This is mainly just to get some inspiration for what we, you would add. And I'm crap at building palm trees, so I'm going to use some schematics uh, if I can find some. And I will link the schematics or the map of the palm trees in the description below. So um, let me take out a little beach and I'm going to be right back with you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I love it. Stiffy Nipples Batman. This looks uh, quite fantastic. We have palm trees. Please don't judge the beach behind me, okay? This is mainly just so you guys can get inspiration on how to place it in your own worlds and whatnot. So you can just imagine having like a huge ocean and then this infinity pool. Just amazing. What goes for the palm trees, I have not made them myself. They are made by user on plant Minecraft called Clem. I am going to link that page in the description below the video. If you guys want to check it out, you can grab his map, which is called A Day at the Beach, I believe. And I just made schematics of them and pasted them over here. So Clem, if you made those trees, they look absolutely incredible. And also, I did bring down the jacuzzi just by one layer, because previously it was going somewhere over here all the way around and I kind of felt like if I just bring that down you can just easily step in and and get out of it but ladies and gentlemen I think um, I think we can conclude this like obviously I could spend much more time just uh, fiddling around with like I don't know grass bushes and whatnot but I, I call this complete this looks really nice especially like look at the front entrance now with the palm trees and whatnot it's uh, it is beautiful Hopefully you guys enjoyed. By the way, if you build this, please do share it on my Twitter. It's going to be a link for my Twitter in the description below the video. I also like this area. I mean, it's kind of cozy just sitting here, having the fireplace. And the good thing about this fireplace is you can use it from the inside as well. Not the best place, but not so proud of it. But it is a possibility. Most definitely. So, once again, if we come in over here, just to kind of get a little tour of the house. We come in over here, main door. We have a staircase going up, a little bit dark, scary, hairy, Larry, but we can go up. We have a room on this side, we have a room over at that side. And we also have this huge space, which could make a window here if wanted, that is. Beautiful railing, huge window overlooking, nothing. <laughs> and downstairs, our room on this side, our room on this side, and then we have this huge, which is kind of like a living room slash kitchen area, I guess. But uh, it is quite spacious, but coming out here, oh, can you just imagine just seeing the ocean in front of you? Oh my goodness, that would be quite amazing. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure, please do leave a like. It helps me a lot and also it kind of tells me you want to see more of these type of videos. So I am Kralis. Uh, have a very nice day. If you build it, make sure you share it on my Twitter. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to see you guys in, um, in the next Let's Build. But I love it. And from above, it looks something like this, just in case you want to count some blocks when it comes to like the paths and whatnot but uh, this is kind of easy straightforward going nothing like super hard and tricky kind of squarish not, not a not a big uh, big guy when it comes to detailing yard work and such but uh it kind of works right i think it does thank you so much for watching i'm girl see you guys in the next one bye bye hi i'm back but look at this view oh my goodness so I did paste uh, the house on a tropical island map and uh, I'm just blown away. Can you just imagine having a pool like this, just swimming? Okay, we did now. But just seeing the ocean like this, I don't know.
This was mainly for you guys' inspiration. Hopefully you will get some inspiration. Hopefully you guys build a house. And once again, if you do, tweet a picture of it. But let's just end in jacuzzi. Uh, no fart bubbles. Uh, that's actually real bubbles. Uh, hey, it is what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Kiralis over and out. Have a very, very nice day. But, uh, but yeah, this is quite breathtaking. Holy crap. Family moment over here. Bye, everybody.